<clears throat> might as well show Ru or uh, might as well show Riki uh, around Kamrocho. Let's get some Yakun Yakuni Kiku first. Such a weird name for food. Hey, what's up, guys? Skull and two three here. I'm just first. I'm debating what the hell should I upgrade. <clears throat> I think stronger those would be helpful. But welcome back to Yakuza Kiwame. Last time we left off, we had a very, very, very freaky fight. But now, yeah, we had a really, re what the hell is that? Hold up, whoa. Oh, it's Sumo, okay. Um, had a really freaky fight last episode that uh, was really funny. Dude, I'm not even that far in front of you. Shut up. But, uh, yeah, we figured out that... Well, we don't have... We didn't figure out, but we had an idea of who might have been the one to kill, um... Uh, Kawasaki. Kawasaki. That was... Pissed me off. Um, had a boss fight, and here's the place where we're gonna take... Uh... Rikia out to eat because <clears throat> we're gonna take Riki out because you know he's in Kamarocho and he wanted a certain type of food so <clears throat> we bring him here so this is the place wonder if there's any stars in here in there get enough in one room and you got a whole damn constellation right I think this is the place where he said a lot of popular people came to eat and stuff I guess we won't know until we go in come on yeah it's really hot today it's like 93 degrees so, hold on. It's, it's actually getting so hot that I might need to take my fucking shirt off. <laughs> I don't see any celebrities. Hell, there aren't even any other people in here. Hey, can't expect it to be packed all the time. Come on, let's order. I'll treat. Yeah, hell yeah. I'll, I'll pay. Every, I'll pay it all. <sighs> my treat. So get whatever you want. Whoa, really? Thanks a ton, Aniki. All right, let's go with two beers, some kab kab kabai, some kalbai, some sirloin, and an order of salted tongue, a plate of tripe, and oh, some Ichiriko pork while you're at it on it. Uh, Freakia. Oh yeah, and make all that a double portion for me and my Aniki here, then I'll have a kamichi kick. Kamichi combo and a ka and kalbai soup on top of that and some nice chilled noodles for dessert You want some soup too, Aniki? I don't think my stomach can fit all that <laughs> Right now if okay if I was able to if I didn't eat anything and came here would it have? Because my Kiri was low on HP. I want to go get him some food before I started recording I Want to make sure that I he would have actually gave me XP He would have genuinely fed me well, whatever, I got EXP nonetheless. By the way, Anaki, I was strolling around town for a while before we met up. Ah, sure a lot of interesting folks here in Kamurocho, huh? Weirdos, businessmen, schoolgirls? Yeah. Could just spend an entire year of people watching and never run out of new subjects. Makes you wonder how their lives all led to up to this point, converging in the city. Well, you know, sub-stories. Maybe he should go on a sub story. <laughs> totally. Wonder if I can find what I'm at here after here. What are you talking about? A girlfriend? Come on, Aniki. We talked about this right after you beat the human stuffing out of me. I'm looking for a guy to finish my Viper tattoo, remember? Oh. Yeah, hell no, I don't remember. Right. Sorry. Your other tattoo artist died before he could finish it, didn't he? Isn't there one in Kamurocho? I know that uh, there... Yeah, 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 or is it Santabori? I'm trying to remember, because in Kiwame 2, there was that uh, mission, or the story mission, where you had to get a tattoo that was unfinished and got stolen from the uh, other tattoo artist because he, was, he wasn't worthy of doing it, or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to trust my Viper to anyone who doesn't... Uh, wait, who doesn't get the spirit of Okano was all about? But I'm kind of starting to think someone here might have what it takes. Guy who Guys who lived in Kamurocho have seen all sort of people come and go, even if they're not from Okanawa. I bet he could get what I'm going for. What do you think, Anaki? Well, I might just know someone who can help. Yeah, I'm like, here you knows the person. Or a girl, technically. 
Please let it be the girl, actually. It'd be so cool. For real? Can we go see him? If we got time, I mean... Sure, why not? But let's do some sightseeing first. All we've done so far is sit in this restaurant. Totally. Let's get a move on. Also, I made myself a sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly. But I toasted it. Man, Aniki, that was like a party in my mouth. <laughs> the Diddy party was in my mouth. I guess you could put it that way. You total could- Damn! My money! Thanks a lot, Aniki! Of course. <laughs> My cash! That's like half the- not half, but like... A solid portion of my wallet, dude! Uh, continuing- No, yeah, let, let, continue exploring. Why, why would we go separate ways? What? Cause I could hang out with Rukia some more. Rikia, you have anywhere else you want to go? Wait, am I supposed to, like, not... Why would I just skip out on him? This is my friend. You bet I do. I've heard some amazing things uh, about that shop, uh, Don Cochetti. I never knew the name. Um, they say the theme songs stick in your head for days. We don't have them down in Okanova, though. Don Kitchi, huh? Uh, this should be easy enough. They open 24 hours a day, right, Aniki? Yep. Kamurocha is the city that never sleeps after all. Uh, no, that is New York. Kira, you get it right. Wait, then do other don't you close like regular old shops? That's right. This one has special hours because where it is. Huh? Cool shit. Anyway, let's get moving. Why is, who is the fuck is that Kazuki? <laughs> and just walk past me? Yo, Kazuki, what are you doing? Yeah. Yo, yo, Kazuki. <laughs> I don't know why I would split up with him. That seems very rude, seeing how he is my guest. Let's just take the taxi. Let's just take the taxi, seeing how it's a literal fast travel down there. Oh, hey, this guy wants to get into a fight. We're all in pretty bad moods, you know? Mind if I take it out on you? What the hell's that look for? Maybe we should just try to kill you instead. Take the... Like, wh who the hell would think of this? You know, I'm in a bad mood. Let's kill this guy. Like, what... Oh, that's some good grab damage. Why do these dudes have bats and stuff? Delinquents, like, go home. Damn, go home. I can't even get up. My neck. Yo, stop trying to whack me. I barely even get to use this throw. Yo, this weapon powerful as hell. I should save my heat for when I need it. Yeah, there you go. So I made a peanut butter and jelly, and I toasted it, but I did something different. We're sorry! It's nothing personal! Uh, dear, sorry! Okay, but uh, I made a peanut butter and jelly and toasted it. But you know, when you normally toast one, you toast the bread and then you do it. I thought, what? What's this place again? Oh, this is the weapon shop. I was, I oh, <laughs> oh, curious thoughts. Long time no see. I guess you found my about my store somehow. Yeah, I just walked down here. I didn't mean to come here actually. Yeah, your brother emailed me about you. Oh, my brother. You mean Renta? Yeah, and also your master Yoshiro. You met Yona-san, huh? Sheesh, my life's like an open book to you. Oh, I forgot that the dude had a brother. I thought this was the same guy from uh, from Okanawa. He just like came here. God, are they twins? Huh? Something wrong? No, it's just I'm the kind of guy who likes to keep personal information like that private. Never mind about me though. All right. Anyway, I have to say, you still look like you could use some kick as serious ass. How about trying to ramp up the asking level? I have some of the same stuff over at Renna's place, and even stuff that he doesn't have. In addition to modding, uh, I also make my own equipment, I'll show it to you if you want. Yeah, sure, what loot do you have? Uh, what accessories do you have, actually? Mod weapons? Uh, buy, there we go. Forgot that you need to... Need to make sweet defensive items and accessories. Shh. Uh, sure, I'll buy both of these and... Can I even use nunchucks yet? 
I don't think so, but I'll buy this catalog. Now let's do some view designs, I guess. Oh, hey. I have one of those. Eerie Stuff Toy Prototype Battery. Bulletproof Glass Amulet. Oh, wait, no, that's a Tiger Belt. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Steel Shoulder Guard, Small Kettle Rubber Hose. So all the loot that you find is for items. Got it. Dustproof Shirt. This is weird. Uh, so he didn't really have many weapons. Speaking of weapons, can I repair mine? Honestly. Honestly, the extendable staff really good. I don't like that I have to mainly go to every weapon, though. Honestly, the umbrella I could just go buy a new one of, but... Eh, why does he have a battle axe in here? I've never seen a battle axe in Yakuza. No one's used a battle axe as a weapon. <laughs> I thought it was the second guy in here. I guess it's just Ruki, Rikia. Um, so I, so I, yeah, like back to my sandwich. I made it, I toasted it, but I made it first and then I just threw it in the toaster. I have a toaster oven, so that's why I did it like that. Any sub story? But yeah, I have a toaster oven, so I uh, made the sandwich, threw it in the toaster oven. I haven't eaten it yet. I also put Snickerdoodles cookies in there, because I have leftover Snickerdoodles in my house for some reason. I don't know when we got them. Whoa, it's even more incredible than I, oh, <laughs> whoa, it's even more incredible than I than I was expecting. Sure, a lot of teenagers in there. Yeah, it's pretty popular with the younger crowd. Anyway, think I'll wait out here. Don't buy any more than you can willing to carry, okay? Of course not. Be back in a bit. I remember there was a sub-story here for the 24-hour uh, thing game. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting out here, Aniki. Looks like you bought the entire store. <laughs> Guess I kind of got carried away. But it was all so cheap, I couldn't help it. Oh, and I nabbed some souvenirs for, for the kids back at the orphanage. Great! You did. Really appreciate that, Arikia. Nah, there's nothing. Anyway... You'd think there's somewhere I could dump all this stuff till we head home for the night? Maybe one of them coin lockers? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's some lockers just on the street. Sweet, lead the way. I'm not waiting for you. How fast can you run? It's cool that he has a new running animation because he's holding bags. That dude, got, that dude got his sprinters on, though. He got him moving quick. Also, coin locker is good because I have some stuff that I need to open up, too. I'm not waiting for you. You better speed up. <laughs> Here we are. Great. Just give me a sec. I wonder how coin lockers actually work. I assume you probably got to, like, buy... Like, you got to buy the, the key with, like, a coin or something. Take a bite from my sandwich. Hold on. I can't even do this. Hold on. I need to pick up the plate. Bro. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I was so lucky. Oh, hell, we're going to the top of the trip. What now? Let's keep going. The roof. I'm not sure we can do all that. The cops are all over the place. Yes, it would be true. I'm not surprised that it would happen. I don't know, I can't, um... There's some place quieter. Oh, okay. That's... Dude, I freaking love Riki. I, bro, so I... I didn't fully read what it said, but I think he said, um... Anyone who's important to my Anaki is important to me, too. Freaking love Rikia. He, he honestly, he's the greatest side character of this game. He's even though my my quote unquote sworn brother is his boss. This this is him. He's my sworn brother. I freaking love this dude. Kashiwagi son, Anaki. What's up? What kind of guy was Kashiwagi son? He was a cool guy. Kashiwagi. He. 
He knew my adoptive father, Cosmo son. Stood for Cosmo son. Stood for what? Stood for kept the Cosmo family legacy alive when he took over uh, their second patriarch. Honestly, Kashiwagi son was great. Great at leading from the shadows. Great at hiding in the shadows. No, great at leading in the sh leading from the shadows. I'm not saying he was good at hiding. He was great at leading. That dude was a warrior. That dude was one of the many reasons why we stopped Shibusawa. He pulled up with the the, the, the Kazuma family. The, the the truck opened up. All the boys pulled up. Why? Cause Kashiwagi Sai did it. He didn't really like being the center of attention, but I can tell you how many times he saved my life. It was also thanks to Kawashiwagi-san that Daigo was able to take control of the uh, Tojo despite being so young. He was a priceless asset to the clan. Wow, I always figured he was amazing, but I never knew just how much. Amazing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I was especially in awe of, of how, lo how much she loved cold noodles. <laughs> I, I do. I think I want to say this. I want to say how much he loves cold noodles because I remember in Zero, when Nishiki, uh, when we pulled back up to Nishiki and talked about uh, like how we was, how we was uh, we was fine. Kiryu, uh, he was like, ah, he's like, uh, what's up with Kashiwagi? Hi, you know him. He's like, ah, <laughs> once once he saw you pull up, he started slurping down those cold noodles like he saw a ghost. And Kiryu's like, huh, that's just so him. I re I remember that. How he was level-headed, but he did love his cold noodles. But with with watermelon, don't forget he put watermelon in his noodles. <laughs> I don't know why he had a slice of watermelon in there. That dude was eating good. <laughs> how level-headed he was. I was especially in awe of how level-headed he was. I think that's why Kazuma tr San trusted him so much. Kashiwagi really lived up to that trust too. He always kept tension between families from boiling over. Through the course of it, that made some of the patriarchs think he was soft, too soft to lead. That's a reputation you want you want to avoid in this line of work. Even so, you can't just fight people for no reason. You have to choose your battles, and Kashiwagi knew how to do that better than anyone. Whoa, you must really respect it, Amanaki. Hell yeah, that dude was like a father when Kazuma wasn't there. Like a uncle, I guess. We should probably get going, Rikia. Mm-hmm. Anywhere else you want to have in mind? I don't know. It's all this talking made me kind of sad. Hey, why don't we go to one of those bikini bars I've heard so much about? What do you say, Aniki? I went to, like, two of them earlier with you when you said, I don't want to go in there. Seriously? Hell yeah! You can't expect me to leave Tokyo without first getting a little taste out of the ladies. But, uh, I can go by myself if you really want. This might be the for the best. Sorry. I'm not really feeling up to it. Oh, come on! We When we had a revelation, we went there. Figured. My bad, Oniki. I was just trying to cheer you up. Don't worry, Rikia. I'm okay. Go have some fun. But, just go. And Rikia, thanks. What? That? It was nothing, Oniki. Just wish I could have helped more, you know? Anyway, guess I'll, be, guess I'll get going. Think you can manage on your own? Oh, totally! I got a pretty good feel for the layout now. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, there's a bar called New Serena over at uh, Takichi Street. That's where we're going to be using it at our base for operations. Head there when you're done wandering, and feel free to give me a call when you find trouble. When you have, if you have trouble finding it, will do. Catch you later, Aniki. By the way, Aniki, here's some here's something a little thanks for showing for showing me around town. Zero Jewel, what's this? Well, later. Who's hitting me up? Hello? Oh, Dante. Kiryu, it's me. How things go with the old, with old Baldi? I forgot that's what we did. <laughs> Found him. He was horrible, all right. But he's pretty small time. I don't think it was him to, he had the wit to outsmart Kashiwagi-san. Damn it. And here I thought we had a lead. Guess we weren't as close as we thought. Anyway, I'll fill you in when I get back. Over at Serena? Yep, Mama said we could we could use it whenever we want. Just meet me over here, okay? Sure. See you soon. Try not to get too distracted on your way here. Hey, bro, saying don't do any sub stories and come here quick. 
<clears throat> well, you are nearby. I might as well. If there was a sub story, I would have done. Oh my god! That's. You don't ever see that! The NPC is following a different NPC! You never saw that in Zero! Shouting man. I don't want to fucking hear it! Get the hell out of here! <clears throat> what was that? It's not like it came from the alley. Ibuki, you bastard! If you didn't poke your nose where it doesn't belong, it, it'll be the last thing you ever do. Supposed, supposedly, Ibuki. Enough of this! Doing this to me isn't gonna change anything. Shut your yap! Damn, what do you do? Stab him? Ah! This is your last warning. Don't ever show your face around here again. Is this a way to make money? Little side stuff? Hey, you alright? Yeah, thanks for stopping. D the fuck did he do? He just pulled up. You're hurt. Do you need help? Don't worry. It's nothing. Wait, are you... Kid you, son? You know me? I used to be a member of the Dojima family. My name is Ibuki. Ibuki? Sorry, but I don't remember you. Back then, I was just a flunky, so it's not surprising you don't remember me. Is that right? Sorry, I don't remember. No, it's fine. I was over ten years ago. Gah! Hey, you don't look so good. I can't just leave you here. I'll make, I'll make sure you get home safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bro, I'd be an amazing voice actor. I gotta say, bro, like, trust me, I'd do amazing if I was in the voice acting industry. Best I can do is Mickey Mouse. Well, no, I can My best voice is Mickey Mouse, yes, but I'm a ma Prison? The hell is this? This is the place? It used to be a restaurant I ran for the Yakuza. Called it Comrocho Castle. Hasn't been a restaurant for a long time now. Yeah, it looks more like a fucking prison. Now it serves as the headquarters for the Host Living Association, HLA. I'm the representative. Something tells me that a ball that a guy gets his ball stomped in this room. Honest Living Association. What's all that about? The HLA is an organization that helps former Yakuza members get out of the business and start making an honest living. Pretty cool. We do things like help uh, them find work, give them low interest loans, and if they need things like that. I see. At first, we used my house for the HLA headquarters, but a lot of our members needed a place to stay, too. So we converted my restaurant to a dormitory and headquarters. The castle dungeon looks looks come from the theming of the original restaurant. HLA members said it kind of looks like a prison, so it helps if we keep uh, keep them on the straight and narrow. Oh, that's, that's pretty smart, I guess. Guess it's been a contributing factor in re rehabilitation. Our members back to normal society. Do they sleep in these cells? Or... Hold on, when this was your restaurant, was people eating in these cells? <laughs> the hell? It looks cool, don't get me wrong, but like... It's kind of freaky, like why are there chains on the walls and stuff? <laughs> Interesting. Never knew a place like this existed. Yes, sir. We've tried to keep it under wraps, so I guess the most Tojo Clan members haven't heard of it. Who founded HLA? Kashiwagi san. What? Kashiwagi san? It's hard for people to, who leave the Yakuza to make their way out and try to get an honest living in outside the world. Kashiwagi san knew that, knew this, and saw how much these guys were suffering. That's why he set up the HLA. He was a well-respected man who took care, took good care of his men. So even former Yakuza members came to him with their problems. They'd all tell him that leaving the business was fine, but it's 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 trying, but that, that that but that trying to make it in a normal society was next to impossible. Yeah, knowing what kind of guy Kashiwagi san was, I'm sure he lent a sympathetic ear. To Kashiwagi san, they were still f members of his family, even though they already left the Yakuza. Kashiwagi-san founded the HLA, an organization that could provide these people with support that they needed. Is that right? Recently, oh my, so much dialogue, man. As the Tojo clan became more, more turbulent, 
Kashiwagi turned over the management of HLA to me. He asked me to watch over the members and they could support themselves and so on us work. Now that Kashiwagi's not longer with us, it's my to do if it was dying wish. Yeah, I understand why that. Uh, but now the HLA is serious this problem. The guy from before, you mean. Yeah, he's a former member who got into a of us, but somebody had given orders and heard of the HLA to the clan. Why would somebody do that? It's just not him. More and more from me. Kuzo are carrying these attacks. They call themselves the Reapers. They're obviously an axe to grind. But the Reapers are going to be Hitman. Hitman, so and so. My friend's like, yeah, do 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 you think this is going to work for the HLA? Well, not necessarily, but he's going to have the act of men with the clan. The HLA is going to have to do something about this. So, right, you can't lie down ticket. Is there anyone that can help the HLA and the Hitman? Unfortunately, no, seeing how the members of the former Yakuza are trying to avoid this sort of thing. Right. In any case, you need someone to. Oh my god, what are you implying? If I were. Well, it could have been something like you myself with the Yakuza on the side, I'm going to have a rough beat. I'm going to honor the Yakuza and wish. I don't know you had to continue saying you're really just for us. I got a chance. I don't think it's so much. I'm going to do it right now. 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 Oh my god, I don't care! I would have had to read all of this! Can I leave? Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to take this dude out? Yeah, I'll take this guy out. I get free money? Sighted at the east end of Takechi Boulevard. Wait, wait, I get to do assassination jobs? Not assassination jobs, but like... I'm about to Serena Field on and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my, yo! Money! Money! I got ways to make money now? Oh, let's go! My broke ass ain't gonna stay broke for long! I think that right guy wants to fight me. Oh my god. I saw the look you gave me out, so you think you're stupid or something? I don't give it. You're an Italian mob boss, fuck out of here. I forgot how much I need to fucking mash circle in this game. Get up! Get up! Bonk. Did you just fucking whack me from half? Damn! Yo. I ain't gonna lie, the fighting is insanely stupid in this game. Like, the double bonk combo is seemingly the best move that I have. But once I get a weapon, things change. They'll change very much! Bonk! <laughs> How did I whiff? Yeah, scream in fear as I beat your life into the ground. I'm sorry! This I'm the stupid one! I admit it! Just let me go! Here! Look, I'll give me this! Just take it, man! Tears soaked. <laughs> His glasses is hanging off of his head, bro. What the hell? Holy shit, man. <laughs> that is insane. I readjusted my mic. Is that a guy supposed to be here? Oh, snap. Can you imagine seeing this? You're getting attacked on that randomly goes to pick up. Damn. Looks like the Batsu, the man. I feel like I've heard that name before. What are you doing? It's your damn fault for joining the Yakuza. Now it's time for you to pay the price. What the hell are you talking about? Hold it right there. That's enough. Who the hell are you? You're Batsu, the hitman, aren't you? What if I am? Hey, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll never forgive this. Forget this. 
I'm in the biz. You in the biz too? Not anymore. Why? Would you kill me if I were? Yeah. That's right. The Yakuza has to be destroyed. That's extreme. What do you have against Yakuza? No, nah, uh, I don't care. I'm just gonna kick this dude's ass. The Reapers? I'm not scared of a stupid hammer. You're not gonna do anything to me, weakling. Oh, damn, I was not expecting a double hit. <clears throat> You seem like a doofus. Oh, what is he? I thought he was gonna like spin at me or something. This is a total. This dude is definitely just a pushover. <clears throat> uh, he's a pushover with super armor. <clears throat> Drink. No, 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 no. You want mysterious liquid? How close am I supposed to be to him for that? Am I supposed to be this close? I want to hit him with my mysterious liquid. Pause. I can taunt with weapons? Oh, this ain't the Yakuza that I'm used to. <laughs> chug it, chug it, chug it. If this dude is, if any of them attack like this guy, then this will be easy to do. Okay, okay. This counts as a boss fight? There's no way that this counts as a boss fight. Wait, I have a new ability! Oh, I gotta do that next time. It said knockdown. Ugh. This counts as a boss fight, I didn't even know. Bonk! Yeah, that's right, that's my power. Of the dragon of Bonkjima. Oh, hit me on them. Mm hmm. Ah, I know how that feels because I was in prison for 10 years. Damn. Got it. Yo, there. Wait, I'm out here making bad people good people. That's pretty cool. Am I making bad people good people, or am I just an assassin too? Bro, free money? Hold on, let me get another one. Kataro the killer uses a unique weapon quick to escape. <laughs> West Park. Yo, this is actually really cool. It's like, it's, just, it's like a bounty system. And I'm always, bounty system games are really cool. And with how much money this is giving me, like, this is really, really good. Absolutely good. Free bread.
But this cookie mix into the sandwich, it hits. At least I know if he didn't see me, he wouldn't have fought me. <laughs> Damn, they do damage. Or at least the guy with the crowbar does. Jet set radio has music. Bro, he just... Did he just do a down attack? They have those in this game? Damn, good damage. This doesn't even take any, any heat anymore. This is just... Oh my god, this game is so good. <laughs> No, 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 no. 50? Ooh, that's good. Bro, this game's battle theme is actually pretty sick. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm g the, the more I'm getting acquainted to this game, the way more I'm appreciating everything, even though it is pretty janky. Buy some shoes. That's the, um, the Colosseum, the underworld. <laughs> A chef? Does this look, does this look like a chef uniform to you? <laughs> How come you know my name? Did I even tell you my name? Bro, this dude must be like 17 or something. Why does he have his blood on his shirt? Ew, nasty man. Bro, scared that we have his contact information. Oh, a sprint. You're right in front of me. Damn it, we have to do one of these segments again? He speeds up when I speed up, that's... Let's go. I'm gonna run out of stamina, I'm not gonna catch him. I'm not catching him. I'm just gonna let him get in front of me. What if I go around? Alright, that wouldn't have mattered because he goes too fast. I assume I can just press retry, or will it just, like, make me not? Man, I- the chase segments are fun, but I like them more when they're not chasing and when they're running away. I know sometimes you can get, like, two hits if I get them, like, really, really close to me. Damn it. Bro, how close do I need to be? Like, sniffing his ass? You're not here, you. You're not here, you. Bro, where, where is he going? Damn it. I tried to catch him. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The chase segments are really fun. He, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, the chase segment, chase segments are actually pretty fun. So do I gotta fight him or was it just chase? Uh, cop. Da -da -da -da. Oh my, that was it. Or no, I think I gotta fight him. Actually, it seems like I gotta fight him. All right, what's his weapon of choice? A, a, a fucking taser. You look like an old man who's also scared. When you're probably just like a stupid teenager. Get the hell up. I thought it was on the back of his head. How did he turn around? Bro, this music reminds me a lot of uh, the Pokemon, the theme from Pokemon Sun, uh, Guzma. The uh, Team Skull leader, I think he was. He, had a, he has a really good bot, uh, battle theme. You know, I find it kind of weird. Is there, po is there boss fights in Pokemon? Like, I guess you would count a gym fight as a boss fight, but I've always been... I don't know. I've, I just thought about that. Like, you don't... There's not really any boss fights in the Pokemon franchise. Maybe like the legendaries, but you can catch the legendaries, so it doesn't feel the same. But this fight theme, kind of fire. I wonder if I get the triple kick combo in this game. Damn, he snuck me. Okay, that was good. Ran full circle and caught me lacking. Bro, can I get an, like a, an attack that like lets me beat people who are like guarding and stuff? Like in the other games where like there's the heat attack that breaks guard. <gasps> Cause that'd be super helpful. I just need to hit him from behind. Cause like, he blocks so damn much, that's the problem with this game. All they know how to do is block, block, and block. He's really quick. Like, like I, I generally have to- Damn, he, he recovered! He got the Komiki cat-like reflexes too! I was ready for that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you gonna come at me or what? <laughs> This dude is weird. All right, all right, we gotta build up that heat. Gotta build up that heat. Nice. Knock down. Let's see what this one is. When did I get this? I don't have a clue. Ooh. I think that was from one of the revelations. Where you use them and you throw them into people. Except we've never had a boss fight where there's more than one person. He... Still though, that's really useful. Can I pick up that broom? Cause it looks like a it looked like a sword when I first saw it, but Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he out here chasing me. Bro, it takes forever to cure you for cure you to stand up. And I genuinely hate the fact that like I should start using these items. Man, he can't run with this? Oh my god, I, uh... Yo, I didn't even get up in time. Please. Relax. No! I can take, like, two more hits. 
Oh, he just kind of did what? Threatened the people? I'm just getting my heat. Seems like I can't taunt through walls. Even though I can just see him through the fire. Like, bro, he's out here, like, trying to taunt the people or something. Now I gotta hit you with a, with, a, with a Kiryu Classic. Time for the Kiryu Classic. You gonna get hit with the Kiryu Classic. You gonna get hit with the Kiryu Classic. The Kiryu Classic. Charge it up. And bunk it off. Ugh. Didn't think you'd be much of a fight, but you got some decent moves. Hell, yeah, my teacher was the best hitman named Eason. Everyone ba who knows he's basically a god. Then why'd you put an act of threatening people for pocket change? I can't stomach killing people. It was fine until I left my teacher and joined in Kamurocho. Where I tried to do my work, I got scared. Feeling threw me out, wanted to put it go. So he, he wants to be a good person, he just doesn't kill. He uses intimidation. It's like it's like um that one episode of Ed and Eddie where Ed was like, Oh yeah, my big brother's coming to town. You guys better be nice to me. <clears throat> and because of that, everybody started being nice to Ed, even though his brother wasn't coming to town. It's just that his brother was a big name. Alright, let's take the last request. Not do it though. Never mind, there's more. I wasn't expecting that. Bro, 90-90. Mr. and Mrs. Hawkeye Chu. Armed with guns. Works as a duo rumored to be armed with guns. Does not carry weapon. Okay, he's just a random guy then. Dude, I'm gonna be getting so much money from this stuff. How- what time is it? That took- that fight took me like eight minutes. Alright, I'm gonna- Cut to me getting food, head to the thing, and then we're gonna end up the episode. <clears throat> I went to go eat, so now I'm back at full strength. Now we're gonna head back to this arena. Or not, that was okay, no, no cutscene in between, no, none of that. Oh, kid, you feels like you've been gone for hours. You had trouble in Canada or something? I remember he told me not to take long, and I did indeed take long. I got distracted. <clears throat> it was uh, part of that, but also, also what, Mama, Mama, you mind if I, if, if, a friend I brought up from Okinawa stays up here with me? They won't be allowed any longer than I am. Oh, of course. Is this our um, special friend? Nah, you've got to be talking about Har Haruka, right? No on both counts. It's actually kept in the Ryudo family, one of the biggest syndicates in Okinawa. And we're definitely talking, taking this, wait, and we're definitely talking about a guy here, right? Or did you go hook yourself with some big shot female Yakuza? I don't think there are any female Yakuza. The only female Yakuza I can think about is, um, what's his name? Is, uh, Do uh Do Dojima's wife. Which I think there's actually supposed to be a sub story about her in Kiwame 1, but I didn't do it and I didn't know. I heard about it not too long ago, maybe like two weeks ago. I heard about it, but like, bro, I feel my freaking wire, my headphone touch my foot. I think it's a bug, but yeah, the only other female Yakuza I could think of is that um, the, the guy who dressed up as a girl and the girl who dressed up as a guy and she dressed up as a Yakuza and then Kiryu fought her. So Kiryu hasn't he put his hands on a woman once. A big shot female Yakuza, which I think would be amazing. His name is Ryu, uh, Riki. His name is Rikia. He's still pretty, he's, he's still pretty much just a kid. Oh, well, if that case, he's especially welcome. We would love to see some young blood freshen up this place. All I normally get is middle-aged, middle-aged farts like Dante. <laughs> da Date. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Just giving you a taste of your own medicine. 
<laughs> that's what you get for calling me old lady all the time. <laughs> I remember she like she she made she looks young, but she's got the spirit of an old a mature old lady. Well, guess I deserve that. Anyway, you guys are welcome to stay in in the back office so long as you don't cause any trouble from here. I mostly just use it for storage. Appreciate it, Mama. So, where's this guy? Let him go explore Kamarocho a bit. See the sights. He's gonna come here when he does. Sounds like a damn Taurus! Uh, so much for work ethic. <sighs> Everything okay, Dutchie son? Then sound like you're in a very good mood. Nah, it's nothing. Rinky, uh. Finally found you, Anaki. You wouldn't believe I went in like five different bars. I ended up here. And before I ended up here, this city's a goddamn maze or something. Is your guy cure you? Yep. Rikia, this is my friend Dante. Couldn't tell you how many times he helped me out over the years. Oh, this is Mama of the Bar. Anaki's friends, huh? Oh, wait, no. <clears throat> Anaki's friends, huh? Pleasure to meet you. Name's Rikia. Shh. Yo, what the hell is that last name? Rikia Shima. Shimabukuro. Rikia Shimabukuro. My name is Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> well, someone has a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> I try, ma'am. Hmm. It's Date. Please. Oh, the honor's all mine. Rikia. Finished looking around town? I mean, I guess, but... What's wrong? I never found the bikini bar I was looking for. Really wanted to see what kind of heat Tokyo, the uh, Tokyo one could bring too. Dude, I went to one with you. I didn't realize it was that important to him. Anyway, cure you. Ready to hear what went down. Uh, whenever you're ready to spill it, just let me know when we got the time. Dig into the details here. I want to do it now, and then end up the episode. So, oh, I assume it's gonna end up the chapter. All right, thank God. I, I, I want it to be a cutscene because I did not want to just have Kiryu explain it right in front of him. Oh, that is the end of the chapter. All right, cool. I'm going to end it off here. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Whatever the hell it is that I do, uh, that's me for Yakuza 3. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe. If you did, follow my social medias in my description of my YouTube bio because I'm too lazy to put it in my actual description. Have a great day. And sayonara. Until next... The M Majima!